Hey coach, I'm so glad you found us on YouTube. A uh, couple things, first of all, if you like our content, make sure you subscribe, there's a little bell up above. You'll get a notification, hit the subscribe button, that'd be the first thing. Thumbs up, we like those too. Also, if you're looking for more content, you're looking to put some pictures on the wall like we have um, in my favorite spot in the entire world, come over and join us at teachhoops.com for coaches who wanna get better. All right, let's head off to the video. All right, welcome to High School Hoops. Uh, today we're going to talk about defensive systems. I'm going to, uh, Coach is going to take this one, and then I'll, I'm going to interject a little bit into mine. Well, I would uh, hope you would interject because I basically took this from your course years ago and developed mine. So uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> all right, there you go, Big A. There's my defense. No, everybody knows my defensive system. No, anyway. this is not yours. This it's is not mine. I got, I got your, I, I took your idea and I made it into mine. You did. You changed it. Anyway, so before we dive into that, I'd like to give a big shout out to our two sponsors. First of all, um, Dr. Dish, the number one shooting machine. So easy to use. So, I mean, and, and the reason I like the machine, you've heard me talk about it for a year, two years, a couple of years probably, um, is not only their customer service is so good, but they're, they're innovative. You know, they're always trying to come up with a better mousetrap. And that's, I think that's great. Um, so mention uh, High School Hoops or Coach Unplugged. They'll give you $350 off. Also, um, go, go over and check out um, teachhoops.com for coaches who want it better. I, I wish I could tell you the prices haven't increased, but they have. <laughs> uh, and they're probably going to increase again. So, uh, you know, I got to pay, pay my people is what I'm going to tell you. So 14-day um, free trial is still there. I'm letting, letting people kick the tires around. But um, it's a great deal. Trust me, you can go, you can go on, I, I won't name other sites, but you can go on other sites and spend $15 a video or $49 a video. And you, for, you know, half of that, you can, you can get a month of tons and tons of stuff. So go over and check it out. Um, yeah. All right, coach, what are we talking? Defensive system. So go ahead. What, what are we talking about in terms of your defensive system? Uh, well, I, this, this is an old variation of it. I mean, obviously things would change based on what I've done in the last five or six years. So basically when I uh, decided to create a defensive system, it was like almost creating like a football playbook of how I was going to make my defense extremely, um, complex. Um, right. I learned from you and learned from other coaches that keeping offense simplified and keeping defense complex wins basketball games. <laughs> I will tell you, I will tell you in 2018, when I was an assistant at the college, we won a state championship because of that. Our offense is very simple and we had. Multiple when you won a state, did you go to nationals? No, we didn't, which is stupid. Don't even get me started. I don't understand. So you won state and then you stopped. Yeah. I don't know how it all works. To be honest with you, we won the state collegiate tournament, Wisconsin for collegiate Juco. conference. Yeah. yeah, for JUCO. For, um, and then it just so. stopped. Correct. Okay. But it might be different because we're, we were Division three JUCO compared to Division one JUCO. It might be different. I don't know. It was just a question I never had actually thought about, and I thought I would ask. Well, way to, way to throw that one me under the bus right now. <laughs> uh, uh, that's not bad. I'm just wondering why you didn't play. Yeah more oh whatever in 50 years we never won one and we did and two years later they shut down the whole system so we were able They're to not, no one's playing basketball anymore in that system no, the, the the wisconsin collegiate conference is now all intramurals so it is done with oh really yep and that so happened what, this year two years ago uh i think last year was the last year two years ago what happened was all the four-year schools bought all the two-year schools and so basically they're extensions of the four-year schools so right now, the uh, one by our house in West Bend, where I was coaching, uh, which used to be Washington County, uh, UW Washington County is now UW Milwaukee Washington uh, UW Milwaukee Washington County. They're a branch of that extension. So, ah, uh, but Madison College isn't that way. I don't think. No, that's still its own identity. But all your all your WEAC schools or your and your UW schools, most of them bought out all the other two-year schools most of them most of them interesting so like uh uwgb you know they they have a couple campuses and i don't know like that's a whole nother conversation okay but basically okay. they realized that there wasn't a lot of money to be made in the junior college system with the, acquiring these schools so what's the sense of having it you know what i'm saying 
Right, they didn't have football or anything like that. They no, just had, there's yeah. no, there's no reality to it. I I get it in a sense, but it it sucks because it was an opportunity, it's a great way for people to transition into college and play high school, uh, college basketball at a, at a at a pretty good level. And all right, all right. So bird walking, <laughs> nothing like us bird walking. Okay, did it, did it. All right, so defensive system. So go ahead and explain what. And so, I will put. I coach is going to talk about something um, for people that are watching on YouTube. But people that are listening, he's going to try to describe it as best he can for you. And then I'll put, I'll put his defensive system down in a PDF on the bottom so you can get it. No, you know, and your system is ultimately based on the needs of your team. You can't just take somebody's system and say, this is our system. Um, yeah, and they're, obviously, you modify it what makes most sense. So we did it by number system with color coordination. So we did it by... If I were to tell you on the left side of my system, I have a court here and I divided it up into four, three, two, one, four indicates in the quarters, basically. In the quarters. Yep. yep. Your four is your full court. Anything regarding full court pressure. Okay. Yep. And it could be in a zone full court pressure or a man full court pressure. I'll talk about that in a second. So if it has a four, it's full court. Yep. Yep. So four red. Yep. Okay. Three red. Okay. Two red, one red. Okay. So what's red? Red is man to man. Man to man. So if we were to say red four or have a red and we're yelling four, we could be holding a red card. We could be just yelling red, red four, red four, red three, red two. You know, they know exactly what we're going to do in red. So, you know, four would four be red, fold court denial. Uh, and the four uh, red. What three. happens if you have more than one full court man defense? <laughs> That's exactly it. So your system ultimately changes. So you have to figure out how you would do that. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. This system worked for us for that year. Like it's not necessarily going to work, you know, you know, it, it, or how you decide to do it. Cause you'll so notice yeah, here. Red, red was man to man. Blue was even, even zone. zone. So Green, even odd yeah. zones. Yep. And then yellow was combo. But if you notice in our yellow, our combo, we still added a, the one, three, one zone. Right. So combo is like uh, box and one triangle yep. and two. So then if I read, if I said blue four, then it would be, I, I know it's going to be a full court because it's four full court and it's going to be a zone, some sort of zone. You had two, right. one, two there. But then if I went four green, I know it's going to be an, odd number front so it might be like a diamond in one one two correct one. okay um yep okay. so and then uh, ultimately a lot of years i would not have the diamond and i would have a one two two and okay. so those are my variations that i would have um and so that's kind of how i did things um in regards to color coding system and then a little bit too then is like terminology you know um uh if I would say on or off guarding the defender off the inbounder, you know, on or off, I want on or off. That's simple than telling them on, 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 or off, 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 whether how you want to do things based on what the action wants, you know, uh -huh. um, up um, is just full core pressure, get up. Uh, lock would be like, I want full disruption of the ball handler. Um, the, another one we, we I, ha I did not add on here, it would be what we called at the college called Hawk. And we just yell hawk, and then that, that guy would pick up the person from full court, let the point guard get the ball in. I like that. We do that hawk. I like that. Put Add that when you do this PDF. I like that. Um, because I might, I, I, I've always wanted to call for that, but I like that name. Like just something um, that you're I, just going to pick up. That's from my buddy Steve, uh, my other buddy Steve. Uh, that well, Me and Steve that won the state championship together, we use hawk all the time. So we would run a lot of uh, zone pressure and then we'd hawk a lot where we would really disrupt the point guard or disrupt their action. So we would okay. just, we'd call hawk, hawk. Um, so at this point of the year, we were doing a lot of, we were pushing baseline at this, at this point of my career. So if we were yelling the ball push, that means we're really steering to it. We, uh, we taught the kids the different push points in our defense of we wanted to push them to certain parts of the corner of the defense. And then um, backdrop is uh, uh, pressed into a core defense to protect the rim. So it might be, uh, we might be out of a time out. We're going to, we're going to, if our zone gets beat, we're going to drop into a, um, our man-to-man. -man. 
So backdrop okay. might be uh, – so we might go blue floor into backdrop, which is just man-to-man defense, or uh, a green, uh, green floor into backdrop, which is your core defense, your backdrop. So you're dropping into man. And how, uh, and how long did it take to implement this, and did they have a problem? <sighs> I would say that – I mean, this is – I don't even think this is very complicated, but it's still very hard to do. Um, I don't know. Why do you think it's hard? Because I think it's asking kids to really think. Um, and, but I also think if you can really teach them about the quarters and dividing up in the quarters, I think they, they can figure it out. I think the hardest thing would be if you had multiple zone, uh, zone defenses that you would have out of there. How would you make that work? How would you do it if you had odd zones to make that work? You know, um, you know where does that really fit into that, that type of thing? Um, but I think in, in some retrospects, uh, I think some type of system and how you do it can be really, really a useful tool for uh, uh, teams to use in, in the course of a game because they're just uh, – I would say that it takes about four to six weeks to get it going. So you're into the season by the time you're feeling good about it. Yes. So, again, a defensive system – some of these things never change. I would hope at your middle school level that your entire red section is something you could start talking about at a younger age. You know what I'm saying? Right. So some of the system has been taught for several years. Okay. It's one thing if the system never existed and you know that from <laughs> building a program, right? Right. But there's some things that maybe your yellow might change a lot from year to year but maybe your blue and green is pretty much the same in red across your entire program. So if you have commonality and longevity within your system, it becomes easier to use. So that's the whole point of making sure if you're the head coach at the highest level, your varsity coach, that you're starting to use some of those systems to be able to put in place. So by the time they're juniors and seniors, they're only having to put other little parts into the system. Does that make sense? It does. It does. And so that's the idea of that defensive systems and offensive systems are all based on language and um, what, uh, what's the uh, word I want to say? Everything is done with fidelity. Like, right. You have to do things with fidelity. If you're doing it here, you were hoping that the teams below you are doing the similar things in fidelity. So when they get to you, you're not wasting that time or trying to teach them the health system. Yeah. And the thing, and I think coach, I think coach shared a kind of a golden nugget early too, is like, you got to look at your specific your program and your system. And I, I like the breaking up of the courts. We do something very similar, not quite exactly the same, but similar in the sense that let them know. It's like you want them to be able to process as fast as they can. Um, so if they know f the four series is always full court, they're not thinking that. They just know the four series is full court or the two series is always half court then that leaves their brain open to be able to process, okay, well, what is red? You know, that kind of, they're right. So, and then processing I issue. will tell you, as we got into this, I would say that sometimes using colors might be actually easier if you start using, you know, um, having, having numbers too, like, your what well, maybe your one is your your one and defense. if you're dealing with really young kids maybe you maybe those four colors are just your four defenses or something right. like that but what too, i'm saying is know. like you could get to a point of eliminating colors and adding another number so maybe all your man defense is one so you're right. yelling 41 31 32 31 you know what i mean like right. it's easier on the tongue you know yes um if it's blue, maybe your everything that's a blue might be thirty uh, a two because that's an odd, even number, even front. Green that could be an odd number, so you might yell thirty three or thirty two or thirty one. You know, so you know it's it's all based on you can change. It doesn't have to be colors. No, it, it doesn't. Be, it, it can be numbers. Be, yeah, it can be numbers. It can be you know. <laughs> yeah, it, it, well, I, I've done out of bounds plays with logos before. I mean, I've done all different things. Um, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. It's all about knowing your kids too. So maybe you only create a huge defensive system for your red, your man to man, you know? Right. So everything is, yeah. So maybe you're doing only, yeah. And then your blue greens and yellows are 
a collegiate team or something easier for them to understand. All right. You know, or, you know, maybe red's got different variations, but blue is just your zone, your two, three zone. And your green is just your three, two zone. And maybe your purple is your, your full court, uh, two, one, two, you know, it, 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 you can do it any way you want, you know? Right. I think you have to be able to adjust is what coach is basically saying. You better be, you better be willing to pivot. All right. Anything else on this coach will, Coach will put in that what did we oh, that hawk? I like that hawk idea. That one guy. Well, it, yeah. the word hawk. I mean, a hawk is somebody that, right? Is somebody? I it just it's a good terminology. I need yeah. you to hawk the ball, right. hawk the ball, hawk yep. the point guard. I want you to hawk him. Yeah. Right? But you don't even have to say that. You could hawk instead of using the word face guard. You could use hawk twelve. Right. Hawk thirteen. You could do the player's number. Yeah. You like that? You're gonna steal that from me. I am. I That's am. all good. That's <laughs> all why right. we do what we do. Yep. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Hey, Coach. Just sitting in an empty gym. Hope you enjoyed that video. We, we will work really hard to put something out every day for you as a basketball coach to get better. Um, make sure you subscribe and like. Leave a thumbs up. Leave some comments. Those mean a, a ton to us. If you're liking it and you want to go to the next level, let me help you put some pictures on the wall. Come over and check us out at teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. I don't think you'll be disappointed. All right, have a great day.